And here in Georgia, the statewide hand tally has turned up another batch of uncounted ballots. More than 2,700 in Fayette County. It comes just a day after they uncovered more than 2,500 ballots in Floyd County. CBS 46's Rebecca Schramm is live with more on those ballots and the race to get them tallied before tonight's midnight deadline. Rebecca, every day something new, a surprise around every corner. Yeah, and Rob, those two counties where the ballots turned up knew that they had some issues because they had more ballots cast than votes counted. Both of the counties Republican leaning. The human beings who were running it this didn't follow the procedure, and that's why this happens. State voting system manager Gabriel Sterling says nearly 2,800 votes were initially missed in Fayette County when workers forgot to upload the memory card from a ballot scanner. This after almost 2,600 ballots in Floyd County were overlooked. In that case, a box of ballots wasn't scanned until now. With those mistakes, President Trump picked up votes, but current totals still have him trailing Joe Biden in Georgia by close to 30 13,000 votes. Trump's campaign says the discoveries prove he was right about voter fraud in Georgia. Sterling disagrees. We have not seen widespread voter fraud. Um, we do know that there's going to be legal voting, but it's going to be down in the low hundreds. And we expect to get another update today from the Secretary of State's office. Coming up in our next half hour, you're going to hear from a group of uh, Republican lawmakers here at the State House why they want an audit on rejected absentee ballots. Live at the State Capitol, Rebecca Schramm, CBS 46 News. Okay, Rebecca, we'll stay tuned for that press conference later today. Thank you.